We now have tier 5 builders, which is absolutely fantastic because it now means that we can go around and upgrade all of our builds to their final forms of tier 5. However, in our haste to get our builders up to tier 5, I have maybe neglected one or two rather important buildings. Yes, both our town hall here in heaven as well as hell are actually still at tier 3, so we need to upgrade them to tier 4 immediately and then to tier 5, which is exactly what we're going to do today. So I will get Ava to upgrade our town hall here in heaven to tier 3, and while she gets on with that, I will get our other builders started on some new tier 5 projects, which I think I will just get them coming around and upgrading all of our houses, seeing as these builds are usually last to be upgraded, because they're usually quite a pain to upgrade. So Aelia, enjoy upgrading that. And in fact, I'll get all of our builders here in heaven to upgrade a house of their own as well. So that should now be them all set up with their own builds to do here. As for Ava though, what is our town hall going to require for tier 4? Really not that many items. We've got a few different thatched and stripped oak items here, which are going to take a while for them to make, but the rest of it is nice and simple actually. In our open requests, however, we do now have up a few different requests here for cyan clay oak shingles as well as shingle slabs. So these new houses are going to get a roof makeover by the looks of it. We still have in some requests for purple pillars, which I will need to look into that. And Andy is also going to require a yellow form of clay shingle here as well which is because her type of housing are an Asian alternative style, so we'll have a different form of roof. But that's fine, we can go around and teach some recipes to make those items. And that is the slate and shingle items now taken care of, just these purple pillars, which I do see the problem here. He does know how to make the purple pillars using two purple slabs, but in order to make the purple slabs, he requires some purple pillars, which that is my bad because the recipe changed here whenever I was teaching him those, so if I put in the bricks and go ahead with that, this should now be off of the request system after I cancel it. And that seems to have done the trick there, so he's now crafting the pillars. Perfect. And with nothing else on our open request system here, I think it's time that we head over to Hell, where Hell's Town Hall is still only at tier 3, so we will need to upgrade this as well. Which I've seen that Briggs has picked up that work order, so what is going to go into this? So far it looks the same standard items here, there was only one thing that i seen, the dead bush that may cause some issue. I will need to head out to a desert to get some of those, but that's fine, we can deal with that whenever he requests them. Now as for our other builders in Hell, I think we will get them coming around and start upgrading some houses to tier 5. And that should be all of the builders then, apart from Sage, who now have a work order to do. But I've got a special one for Sage to be getting on with. We will get her to construct us a bakery down here in Hell then, seeing as we are going to require that for the Know the End research. Now, where to place this? Ideally, somewhere here in the main plaza, but it's already pretty tight here as is. Fortunately, it's not the biggest build, in fact, I would say it's sizable to a guard's tower, so I may try tuck it in somewhere around here. Yes, probably just right here. Okay, well, let's go ahead with the baker then. Well, if I could get over to it, poor Sage is definitely going to fall into the lava. 
But that sounds like a hair problem, not a me problem, so good luck with that sage. So in our open requests, we only have a request for magenta beds for all of our builders who are currently working on a house build. So that's fine, that's a trip to our dyer. And that's now off of our list. Rig seems to be getting supplied with all of the items that he's requiring here, so I will let him get on with this. And in the meantime then, I should probably assist Sage a little bit here. Right, well, this is all the time prepared to do. A little bit of a safety net, but hopefully she will get on with it. Back in heaven, I can see that Elia has made some great progress here with her house build. This is actually going to look pretty nice with the blue slates in. I have seen that Ava has made some okay progress with the town hall. But it's a fairly chunky build, so she is awaiting in a lot of deliveries at the moment. And in that very short time of me just going over to check on Ava, Elia has nearly completed this house. That is definitely quick, pal. Holy crap, you've managed to get this up very quick. Yep, there it is there. Damn, that was fast. Well, let's quickly have a little look inside a new tier 5 house then. Which, the bottom floor, hasn't really changed too much. But we do have stairs coming up. And we have a lot of beds in here now. But that's pretty much it, I think. It's a very, very impressive build, no matter what, anyway. Well, since you did such a good job with that house earlier, why don't you come over here and you can upgrade this one next. Andy is upgrading a house just across the way there and she has pretty much got everything in for it just awaiting a delivery of these yellow clay oak shingles. So once she's got this constructed we can check out what a tier 5 alternative Asian style house is going to look like. Back in hell, I can see that Briggs is getting in some deliveries, so he must be making some okay progress with the town hall. Sage too is receiving in some deliveries, so I am hoping that she has at least made some start on the bakery. And all land within two chunks of a citizen's house has been claimed. So that is a builder in heaven just finished up theirs. I wonder if that's Andy. But meanwhile over here, Sage is wanting me to clean up the mess that I have made, which that is now done, and she's away back to her hut. But other than that, she's not really made too much progress here yet. The rest of her builders are slowly receiving in all of the items towards her house build, just a couple more, including some more end stuff but they're getting on absolutely fine as well. I did see though that they are going to require some chorus flowers in order to make their builds, so let's quickly head over to the end and grab some flowers from here. Oh, that's a shame. Sage just died into some lava. And it was Andy's build that she had completed there, so let's have a little look at the house that we have here. Oh, and there's Luella, just finished off her house too. That's absolutely perfect. Downstairs looks pretty much the same. And upstairs, slightly different with a few brown beds. But nice work regardless there, Andy. Nice work indeed. If they continue to upgrade these builds as quick as they are here, then I may just put on quite a lot of different house builds just so that they get on with that seeing as they will all require the same items to make them anyway so why not and hopefully that will keep them going here for a little while but seeing as we are in a town hall how are we getting on here then Ava? we are 30% done with this but still quite a lot of items to go which I know that her delivery system will handle for them, so back to hell. 
We have a new builder in with Arthur who has taken over the job of Sage and he is upgrading our bakery which is grand. As for Briggs, he is 35% done with the town hall, is about 50% supplied with it. So it's still a pretty long process here. But these items are slowly starting to come to him so at least we are making progress with it. And in the open requests, they are now starting to ask for the dead bushes. So, I guess I know what I now need to do. Although, they are going to be easy peasy to get, now that we have some Elytra. Right then Briggs, don't you worry about your dead bushes, because I've got you covered. And for the next little while, I think I will stick around here just to keep an eye on Arthur whilst he makes up this bakery. I just missed it, but Lilani has just upgraded our house here to tier 5 and I've set her some other ones to now upgrade. But let's have a little look inside. Living room hasn't really changed too much. And I think in here it's just some bedrooms with some stairs heading up onto another little lounging area and some more bedrooms I think. We have a lot of prismarine and coral items in here. Next door to it we've got an end room. I wonder if that will grow over there. It's not looking too bad. And finally we've got an overworld room here and it looks pretty good actually. Hell doesn't have any alternative styles to their builds, so pretty much all of the houses that we have around here will end up just looking the same. And I'm absolutely fine with that, because it means all of the builds around here should be pretty standard and pretty quick to construct. On the topic of making and constructing builds, I can see that the town hall seems to be getting in a new extension. We are now 50% done with this and just a few more cosmetic items to go by the looks of it. So good stuff Briggs, we will get that up to tier 4 very very shortly. Arthur is out at the bakery and just placing in the netherrack basement to it. So good job Arthur. Right, that's enough of hell at the moment, let's check up on heaven. Which, by the looks of it, the town hall seems to be getting an extension of its own. Yes, indeed it is. I cannot go up the stairs yet, she is still constructing that. But I think this floor is now a bit more fleshed out, looking not too bad. And the balcony here will eventually lead out to some nicer views once we get the main plaza sorted. At least this direction really doesn't look all that bad. We are fast approaching 50% done here as well, so that is good news. Over in Hell, we seem to have an, a new builder, so I assume Arthur took a plunge into the drink. But welcome in Benicio, and I see that you have made some real good progress here with our bakery. And you've leveled up. And it looks as if he's now doing the final calculations for this, so good job then Benicio. That's us now with a tier 1 baker. Guess what you're doing next then chap? Briggs now seems to have everything he requires for the town hall build. We are about 90% done with it. And I think the build is coming together really really nicely. So nice in fact, that there it's done. Right, good job then Briggs, but we now need this up to tier 5, so if everyone could get out of the way. Let's get you right back here then, and we'll upgrade this to its final form of tier 5. Now I'm really hoping that we've done all of the foundation work to this build, so really, tier 5 should just be a bit more cosmetic. Maybe a few new roof slabs in. We'll see. Well on the face of it, there is a lot of items on the list that it requires. He is already 65% supplied for it. But I do get the feeling that these items here are just going to be cosmetic. 
at least I really hope that they are, as I want this up to tier 5 ASAP. Right, let's check in on Ava, who I can already see has pretty much finished her building. She does have everything that she requires in for it now. We are about 95% done with it, and I did see that these stairs are finally made. So we have a new upstairs now, with some beds, and just to the side, another balcony, which does look out onto our colony. She is still constructing this at the speed of sound, so it's really not going to take her that much longer until it's complete. Nope, not long at all, because there it's done. Fantastic work there, Eva. Right, let's get this up to tier 5. Which we really don't need too many items for it. In fact, the vast majority of items are already on their way to her. So let's get stuck right in and get these bad boys upgraded. Back in hell, I can see that Benicio has finished upgrading our baker to tier 2, so let's get him straight back out here and right up to tier 3. How are you then getting on Briggs? You're carrying some items down to your storage. Have we made any progress here at all? Not yet by the looks of it, but there are quite a few items here, so it's really just a delivery system waiting game. The tier 3 bakery really doesn't look too difficult to upgrade. We are going to require one of these multi-pistons, which I'm sure our mechanic knows how to make, but everything else here, pretty standard. So it really is just a waiting game all around here. Our delivery system can definitely handle everything, and there is nothing on the open requests, so... I guess I just need to sit and twiddle my thumbs for a bit then, Benicio. Eh? I suppose I can make myself at least somewhat useful, though. Even our other builders here are getting on with their works with no issue at all. The delivery system is definitely on point today. To give it some perspective, they have gone through all of the work orders here for the house upgrades in heaven at some rate. There are hardly any upgrades left. And it also just goes to show just how big these builds here are to upgrade. Because in the time that it is taking them to upgrade the town halls here, our other builders have been able to upgrade so many different house builds around our colony. Oh, everything is just falling into place so very, very nicely. We are only 15% done with the town hall here in heaven. As you can see, we are upgrading the roof material at the moment, going for this green slate. But similar to hell, I don't think this building is going to get any form of new structure added to it. I think everything from here on in is purely cosmetic. Benicio nearly has all of the items he requires to upgrade the bakery to tier 3 and is about 30% done. Just a few more items to go. So I reckon that we will get this building up next, which is great because then we can go for the Know the End research. Which will allow our stonemason to then craft end stones, which hopefully should then speed up the entire building process of all of these tier 5 builds. And just like that, there's our tier 3 bakery. Good job Benicio, I will probably just get you out here and upgrading this to tier 4. Not that we do need it for this research, but it's another upgrade anyway. Hell's Town Hall is about 70% done. We are just putting in the final touches to our roof section, but this really isn't going to take that much longer before it is at tier 5. So let's quickly check in on heaven then, which we are about 50% done with this, so halfway. We are just awaiting in a few more slats, so I think I will actually just go back to hell at the moment, seeing as I think their town hall is going to be completed first. Yep, there it is there. Our centerpiece, masterpiece. 
of our first tier 5 town hall. Good job Briggs. Nothing too much has changed inside of it. We have an additional floor now, which is where all of our armour stands have been placed. And one additional floor up, which just looks as if it's more storage. But fantastic work there Briggs, absolutely fantastic work. Now let's go wrap up with a tier 5 town hall in heaven. Which she has everything that she requires for it. So this really isn't going to take that much longer before it's upgraded as well. Absolutely fantastic guys, fantastic work. And more of the same next time.